Hey ladies, okay, let's do a really, really simple, classic, timeless look that's super, super easy. It's all about lashes and lips, so let's get on with it. So I'm gonna wear a really bold statement lip, and when you do that, if you wear any long-lasting lip colors or a really bright lip, you want to make sure that your lips are exfoliated and moisturized. One, that's gonna help the product apply so much easier, and two, it's gonna make it look better and last longer as well. So I'm gonna take my lip exfoliation pencil. Um, it twists up, this is full of all kinds of yumminess. I'm gonna do this now. Um, because it contains lots of sheer butter and yummy ingredients. So I'm gonna put this on my lips now, exfoliate them and leave it on so it does its magic while I do my eyes. So apply it on your lips, very simply rub it around for a really lovely exfoliation. So because we're gonna concentrate mainly on the lips and that's gonna be the main focus of this makeup look, I'm gonna keep my eyes quite simple and neutral. So I've got a pretty pink color all over my lids. This is the Splurge Cream Shadow in the shade Hopeful. It's a beautiful shimmery pink color. I'm just gonna apply that with the cream shadow brush all over my lid. So the Splurge Cream Shadows are ridiculously easy to use. You literally just need to swipe them across your eyelid. They're amazing because they don't crease all day long. They apply as a cream, but then they dry powdery and they're super easy to apply and blend. Next I'm going to take the deluxe brush which is a large fluffy brush and I'm just gently going to blend out that edge so that there aren't any harsh lines. The only other thing I'm going to do for eyeshadow is I'm going to pop a tiny little bit of inner corner highlight. I'm going to use Addiction Shadow Palette number 5 and this metallic silver shade, brilliant. The liner shader brush, tiny bit of product and then I'm just going to press that on the inner corner very slightly just to add a little bit of something extra. So that's it for eyeshadow. Now we're gonna move on to lashes. I've done two coats of 3D Fiber Lashes Plus here. Um, it's really, really made a difference. I've got incredibly short lashes. So this is how I apply it. So first of all, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes with the standard eyelash curler very, very quickly. So step one of the mascara is the gel. So you want to apply this all over your eyelashes, just taking your time to make sure that you've given the lashes a nice, good, even coat of gel. Once you've done that, the next step is to add the fibres. So you're going to apply the fibres mid to ends of your lashes and the fibres are what create the massive length and volume. Because I'm going for a huge lash look, I'm going to curl and set my lashes even more with my blow dryer. And then I'm going to seal the fibres in with the final coat of gel, step three. So just make sure that you've got all of those lashes nice and coated. You can stop there, or if you want to, you can go in for even more volume. So I'm going to go for another step of fibres. I'm applying that straight on top of the wet gel. That's really important. And then I'm going to blow dry them again, set that curl in place. And then once again, seal everything in. It's really important that you do gel, fibres, gel. And there you go, 500% more volume. So now that eyes and lashes are done, we're going to move on to lips. So it's time to take off my lip exfoliator. It's been on there the whole time, so the sheer butter and everything's kind of done its magic. I'm just going to take a baby wipe. You can lick it off if you want, <laughs> but just wipe it off. So it's removed all that dead skin and moisturised my lips are ready for the next product. So I'm going to use two products for my lip look today. I'm going to use our Splash Liquid Lipstick in the shade Central. It's the most gorgeous velvety dark berry colour. I absolutely love it. And I'm going to pair that with our Precision Pencil in the shade Pompous. They go perfectly together. So first of all, I'm going to outline my lips with the lip liner and then I'm going to fill them in with the liquid lipstick and the finished result is just beautiful. So I start off with my bottom lip and I simply just outline just on the edge of my lip and when we get to the top, I do a crisscross at the cupid's bow just to get a really nice pout and then connect the edges, very, very easy. So with the liquid lipstick, when you open it up, the tip is to wipe off as much excess product as you can. They are really, really pigmented and really rich, so you don't need that much product. So just take a second and wipe off as much as you can before you pop it onto your lips. The applicator of the liquid lipsticks is really, really lovely. There's a flat side, a curved side and the point, so it makes it super easy to fill in your entire lip and get to all the places you need to and give your lips a really nice even coat. So I start with the bottom lip, then I move on to the top, picking up a little bit more product if I need it, and then rub them together and then go back over just to make sure that I filled in all the areas. So 
so there you go what do you think I absolutely love this color it's so rich and velvety and I think it works really really well with the downplayed eyes and the lashes it's a classic timeless look and super super easy to do as well a little tip for you if you feel that you need a sharper edge to your liquid lipstick grab your concealer brush and your concealer or liquid foundation and you can always go in afterwards and neaten up that edge so that it's nice and crisp anyway thank you so much for watching if you've got any questions let me know I'll speak to you soon take care